This needs to be shut. That background. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Not a setup, but it will be a setup for now. I just moved into my new apartment. Just got my camera. Just going. Today we're filming a Q&A since I've been gone for like a month. I was hoping for this Q&A just to kind of be a way to kind of catch up on what's, what I've been doing. Are you to see my hair moving the whole time? Oh my god. Speaking of this hair, mine, you might, you're probably like, whoa, like, did you really do that? Like, no. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did a little promotion for Everyday Wigs. This wig is full synthetic. Um, it is amazing. I've used it literally everywhere. I've worn this to work, to school, to a party. Like, I have worn this everywhere. This wig is awesome. It looks so good. Um, I would have to say I do have to, you know, do that little, the little wig stuff uh, to make it look more real. Um, just a little mini review here. It does look really round on my face, so like clearly like that ain't your hair boo, like we already know, but and it's like getting out of place. But it looks super good from the side, um, but yeah, so I have to do some of the alterations to the wig myself. I've just been a little hesitant and super busy, hence why I couldn't even make a video. How can I, you know, fix my wig, you know? But it looks decent, like as long as I like go like this, it looks more... I kind of have some of it back in a ponytail. That's one thing about this wig. I feel like it's a little too, if I'm getting an honest review right now, I think it's definitely a little too volumized on the outside. Obviously you can get that alter to your face shape and all that. Um, I just don't have time for that. So right now it's in a thing in the back. I do some like stuff to the hair. I can make it look really nice. But anyways, I just wanted to get out of the way. Find this wig on everydaywigs.com. I'm pretty sure um, you can just find it because I'm going to leave a link down below. Plus all our wigs um, are just super cool. I'm like, hmm, which one do I want next? It was really hard to pick. Like they contacted me and I was like, damn, like what vibe do I want to go for? Like I didn't even know. It's different. Like, and it makes me feel like I'm bougie, you know, like, I feel nice, okay? See my hair, you know, swaying in the wind. Um, it's because I got a lovely fan here. I'm in my bathroom in my hot apartment that's on the seventh floor, so we got a fan going. Today, I decided to do a Q&A after all that. I pretty much just did the thing on Instagram where you can send questions in, um, and then you can, like, answer them on your Instagram, but I'm just going to answer them here. So it was just a way better thing than like trying to post a photo and then like, you know, crop out all the things when this is just makes it a lot more easy for me. Oh, how many responses? Okay, okay. I don't have that many responses. That's good. 2,712. That ain't bad. These questions a little bit just so I can kind of just talk about what I've been up to lately since I just haven't been present, um, obviously, that means that I just haven't made the time for YouTube. It's not that I have lots of motivation or um, it's just literally the time of my day. I have this question right here by Kenzie underscore Schwab. She said, how did you and your boo meet? So me and Brandon, as you guys have seen him on my Instagram, we met around like fall of 2017. So um, I met him and we hung out for a while. And um, this is after all of that happened with my ex-boyfriend. You guys want everyone's story time on that. Let me know. Like, it was a while since I was, you know, seeing someone and Brandon came along and just kind of made everything um, whole again and feel so much better. You know, at the time I was like totally loving being single and just being super independent and, you know, focusing on a lot of other things. Um, more on myself, but um, Brandon came kind of came at the perfect time for me, and um, I think that's why I'm so thankful that I have him in my life. Just because, you know, I love I love the death out of that kid. Like he's not even a kid; he's way older than me. We actually met through one of my best friends, Sarah. Uh, she, you know, so showed me on Instagram, and it was kind of just like. I DM'd him, I slid in the DMs, well, it's a first. That feels weird to say like I met my boyfriend through Instagram, but I totally did. 
Um, we hung out, you know, the, probably the day after I found him on Instagram because he's super local to me. Started liking each other, dating, and then in November we made it official, and yeah, so it's been like six months now, seven, eight, I don't really know. Um, feels like forever, but yeah, it's been a really great time with him. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how we met, Instagram. Weird. Got two questions, kind of similar, so I'm just gonna show both of them. Merv Marie and Alyssa J both asked me, uh, what college are you going to? What are you deciding to become? Are you going to college? So what are you majoring in? So I just wanted to, you know, appreciate both of you. But um, since February of 2018, I have been in school for. I've been in beauty school for aesthetics, so not hair, the other side of the salon, um, which is, you know, the aesthetics. Facials, body treatments, sugaring and waxing, um, you know, makeup, airbrush tanning, microdermabrasion, lots of other cool things that you can do as an esthetician. Um, ever since I stepped foot into a spa, I just kind of had a good feeling about it. Um, as you guys have known, since you've watched my YouTube forever, I've always loved beauty, like I've loved the beauty industry. Um, I'm a makeup artist, so you know, I'm always wanting to progress in my makeup artistry, and um, aesthetics is like a perfect license to have. Um, although I do believe that they're coming out with some type of a license for makeup. Um, right now they only have a certification. I mean, my dream would be to be like a celebrity makeup artist or like a makeup artist just in general um, living, you know, somewhere where, like more high volume for photo shoots like, you know, California or New York or something. That is like my dream and I feel um, as an esthetician I can, you know, build high eyelash extensions and wax and sugar people and give them facials for a little bit of time since I am young and that's just kind of my, my goal here. My goal for my aesthetics world would be to own my own business, just own my own spa and just run that and um, that is my goal and I hope to get there. It's not a four year, two year college, it's uh, based on hours. So I had to complete 750 hours until I graduate, which I am graduating in freaking like two weeks. And it's been like a eight to 5.30 thing every day. It's basically a job. I also have two jobs and um, your girl don't have time. Like she got Monday after five, so nighttime. But I'm about to graduate, so I should have so much more time to produce videos for you guys. And I really want to take this time um, to make this video so I can get this out there and just announce that so you guys can expect a lot more from me. Kind of answers um, Haley Wayne's question right here What made you slow down doing YouTube? Miss your videos. Love you, girl. Love you, girl. Thanks. That's pretty much why I've been gone. So. I've just been super busy and just really just haven't had the time. Um, and when I had, when I do have time, you know, I'm trying to spend time with my family, um, just because I moved out. And if you guys want an apartment tour, maybe um, I'm pretty sure I want to get bring out a vlog, some vlogs more, because I think those are a lot more fun and easy for me to do. I kind of want to wrote you know, change my channel to a vlog channel, although I do love sitting down just talking to you guys. Um, I would really like to just vlog because I just have, you know, whenever I do have time to myself, I'm out doing something or exploring or hanging out with my friends and, you know, I should take advantage of that time to vlog it. So, Sarlin so Moan asked, do you always have eyelash extensions on? No. I don't. So I actually took my eyelash extensions off um, for my friend so she could practice eyelashes on me and we actually didn't get it done. I was going to help her out and just like kind of promote her through my Instagram um, and then it just didn't like I didn't get the full set because it was just taking long and then you know it's still processed. So I am wearing falsies right now. I'm hoping I can get them back on but I just haven't done that yet. It's summer like I feel like I kind of need to. I'm like, out in the water always. I swear, whenever the sun's out, buns are coming out. Like, I'm not trying to be, <laughs> I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but like, it's bathing suit. 
bathing suit like that. It's almost August, and I'm not even. Where did the summer glow at? Where... All right. Sorry if that was boring, but just catching up on my whole life right there. Okay, so a lot of you asked me, what's my workout routine? How do I keep my body in shape? All that stuff. I don't want to say all your guys' names because there's so many, but I love you guys. On my days that I can find time, I also just work out. Um, I decided to freeze my gym membership just because I haven't had the time to actually like get to the gym, but I've been doing a lot of freaking YouTube workouts. Just literally Vicky Justice, you can look it up, her slim waist, outer booty, and like the hip one. I just do a lot of her routines and they're so easy. Uh, personally for me, like working out has always just been like something that you uh, gain muscle really easily and it just has always been in my favor somehow. And whenever I do, I can like do it and then just stop working out for like a week. But yeah, if you guys want to look her up, um, I'll put her link down below as well. She mostly do core and legs and just booty. I don't really do arms anymore. Um, and honestly, just working in the restaurant industry. I've just been in shape just from running around the whole restaurant and carrying trays and it's a workout. Like I'm grabbing ice from the back for the bar. Like there's just so many things that you're doing. And it's really just keeping me in shape. Um, and I got another job and that just, I think I dropped like at least, I think I dropped six pounds just like, just working at this job. So that's literally what's keeping me in shape. It's really weird, but. Jesse Toronto asked, what is, mm, what are my go-to shopping stores? Um, so I actually haven't shopped probably mm, in a really long time, but, but my go-to would definitely be like Zara or, um, Urban Outfitters sales section, always loved that. I was a total like Forever 21 girl and I loved it and um, I just realized like they really be, you know, taxing on really shitty clothes. Like sorry, but like, I don't know. Like they're, they're so cute, but like those things, they don't last. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I just wanted to get this out there just to tell you guys what's up and what's going on with me and what to expect of me. So I promise it won't be a month from now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I love you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. And I'll see you next time, hopefully in a better setup than this, because this is just, just the same. We're the same working. I'll see you guys, love you.